Amen. Let's change the worship, Amen. Hallelujah. Let's turn in the breeze this morning in this house. Come on, let's change the worship of God. Hallelujah. Spirit, so let's pray, Father, and God, I pray that you invest, God, 
mercy and precision. Now we pray this morning. We already know that souls are being saved. Uh, but we just pray that you continue, God, uh, to pull in the souls uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, pull them by your word. Uh, pull them by your anointing. Uh, pull them by your blood. Uh, pull them by your power, God. Uh, because it is you that does the joy. Uh, as a father, we depend on you yes, this morning. Yes, you are worthy. Hallelujah. You are awesome in this place. Hallelujah. You are magnificent. We give you our honor. Thank you, we give you our glory. Thank you, In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody just please a great push up. Come on, if you know what God has done for you, please a great push up.
that's so just in Hassel and so in Charles. We will remember that name of the Lord. Come on, come on. I will remember that name of the Lord. And those that do preach next unto him shall be the tribe of, oh sorry, 21, 21, 21. Numbers 2, 21? Okay, Numbers 21, sorry. 21, 21. So find it quickly with me. 49. Okay, let's go again. And they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to compass the land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. And the people spake against God. And Moses, wherefore have he brought us? And against Moses, wherefore have he brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and the soul loathed this like bread. And the Lord has sent fiery serpents among the people, and they beat the people, and much people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord, and against thee, pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and sit it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that every one that is beaten, when he look upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass, and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had beaten any man, when he beheld the serpent of, the, of brass, he lived. Now the last again. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had beaten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. Amen. Amen. Here in the portion of God's holy word, we honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Glory be to the Amen. Hallelujah. This is not our outcome this morning, but otherwise we look up and live. For we will look to the hills from whence cometh our help, or help cometh from the Lord. That was just for Israel, the serpent. But for us, we look unto God, not to a serpent, to God. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time for the word. It's time for the word. We'll have a song by the praise and worship team before the man of God comes. Let me just introduce him.
So he's our very own man who loves the Lord, man of grace and love and mercy. He loves our Apostle Paul. He's a man just like unto him. Study the word, spend time in the word. He loves pride. He's a man of pride. And I believe this morning that he has a word for us. So let us just assume the posture, get into position. Let our spirits be ready to hear what God has to say to us this morning. Is that an amen? Amen. 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 So at this time we have a praise and worship team to sing a song by the speaker comes on. You, Lord, you are well. Oh! 
this place. Come on, all who was so short in here. Just make it to him through the glory of God. Come on, as you worship. As you worship, as you worship. As you worship. Come on, there is a joy of glory. There is a shakaina of glory. Come on, as you worship. As you worship. Come on, open up your spirit. May that worship me. As you worship me in spirit and in truth. Come on, as you worship, there is a shakaina of glory.
strengthen your faith because the journey is great. Can we get a bit deeper? So that was the introduction for the last two weeks. Amen. Can I greet social media? Amen. God bless you. And let me greet the church of God. God is the name of my life. Amen. God, I love you. Come on. I just love you, Lord, because you're so awesome. You're so great. I just magnify you, God. There is no problem that is bigger than you. You are the resolution. And I give up. You are the solution to all my problems. And God, as I get deeper into this, God, Father, there are people who are depending, God, on a world, depending on a transformation, depending, God, on a world of revelation, a world of knowledge, they're depending, God, on an impartation, shot, God, because they are too far down. And therefore, because they want me to go deeper, and there are some people, God, who are too deep, and that is why, God, when we were so deep and seeking in sin, oh, God, no arms are and could have helped us. You send your son, Jesus Christ, who could have gone to hell, and mighty God, and take the keys, and mighty God, Father, and bring us back to your glory, bring us to a place of fellowship, bring us to a place of reunion, bring us into a place of honor with you, God, that we can have, oh God, divine fellowship, God, that will be able to relate to you, and to hear from you, God, and that will hear us, and answer us, God, that will be quiet to you, Father, we thank you unto thee. Oh, glory to God. The Israelites, they were oppressed. And here beside, they were troubled. Is there anyone who is going through the wilderness? Somebody said, when you come out of the wilderness, tell me all your feet. But God, because this is an experience and you are training us, you are training us, you are developing us, you are establishing us, you are strengthening us. You don't want us to come out of the wilderness before we start to rejoice. You want us, God, to have a steadfast and perpetual praise. Yes. Yes. A perpetual worship. Yes. That even the deadliest of serpents and the in, as COVID intensifies attack, yes. God, that our praise level will even expand. Our praise level, God, will be stretched. We will forever honor God this type of worship. That it doesn't matter, God, all the enemy may try, Almighty God, Father, to deal or shoot with us. According to your word, the Bible said in Exodus 1, that when the oppression got even more intensified on the Israelites, come on somebody, we are journeying. Yes. The oppression got more intensified on the Israelites, the Bible said because Pharaoh wanted to suppress them. The Bible said that what happened is that these Israelites people, they multiplied and go from strength to strength. Yes. You don't understand what the devil is doing. The Bible said that what the, what the devil meant for God, God is about to work it for good. Amen. The Bible said because Pharaoh now begin to understand that his strategy, his strategy, all that to, to suppress the Israelites, my God, your strength and your growth, all God, and your multiplication. Mm -hmm. The Bible said that when Pharaoh and his, his workers, his people that were with him, get to understand that this could not affect them and it could not stop them. The Bible said that they got grieved, they get grieved in their spirit. Listen to me. This is the time that you are about to grieve your adversary. This is, a, this is the time that you are about to make your adversary oh uh, God, get up, get, get green, get green. This is the time that you are about to allow your enemy to get angry. This is the time that you should lift your foot and place it into the neck of the enemy. Listen to me, the enemy thought that he would stop you, but God, he is getting ready to stretch and strengthen the faith that you have placed inside of you. Oh, some of you can stay here and sit and look at if you don't understand what 
I am talking about is it not because you do not understand this type of revelation that God has for you today. Listen to me. That I want you to be just in the state of mind that you are today. But God wants when He finishes with you that the greatest of God are things that come to deal with you will yeah. not be able to affect you. Right. Can I bring your attention to the trees or the Speak evil of the things 
that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Tell somebody, watch your mouth. You see, what the enemy does is that he creates my God, frustration through fear. He creates frustration through fear. He creates panic. He creates doubt. Now what happens now when he interrupts your pure mind, it all God place you into a place, my God, where you now start to think, you now start to talk loosely. Yes. You now start to speak loosely. You now start to speak of the things that you know not. And now what happened now is that a room, all God, or a, or a portal, yes. is now open for the spirit of rebellion yes. to now enter into your pure right. mind. Yes. And guess what now, my God, you start to walk and talk now in a manner oh God, that people have yet to know and to understand why it is because that there is a spirit that is called rebellion. It's going to oppress you. Oh, that we get his claws out. And what happened now, my God, is that every simple little thing, the very flies, the very goats, the very animals, every simple little thing easily upsets you because the spirit is upset about every single and little thing. Can I speak to somebody's spirit? Oh, that get your spirit under subjection. Oh, that there are some things. Oh, that because of the spirit of rebellion that some of us have been speaking. And some of you that are in tune to social media this lately because there are people who have been speaking loosely and speaking all manner of things against God delegated authorities against governments, against God, say all manner of things because of this COVID-19. But can I help somebody that touched not the Lord anointed and do his prophet no harm. The Bible declares in Isaiah 54 that no weapon forms against the Lord anointed shall not prosper and every tongue that rise up against them in judgment shall be condemned. Here are some tongues. Can I bring you over to James 3? James declares that my God, every beast of the field that they can be tamed, but the tongue it is very wild. It is set on fire. All oh, that they did set long. Put a prize on my tongue lest I sin against thee.
the ugly heat and the insufficiency of water. That grace was sufficient for them, yet they could not discern it. Oh God, what you are in today, oh God, because of the situation that faces you. My God, there are some of you, you're not able, you're not able to discern the grace of God that I do your dispense. Oh, but check yourself so much before you wreck yourself. That is dealing with your system. It's saying get into your closet. There are some clothing. There are some things that are in here. Get them hold. What am I talking about? It is your heart. There are some things that are in your heart. Oh God, because you can't see them yourself. God up the head into your chamber. Oh, the songwriter said, into my chamber. Journey. 
Then they complained about the bread. Then they complained about the water. Now, what the Israelites did, according to the Bible, it says that, my God, that they got discouraged of the way. And the people speak against God and Moses, wherefore have they brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness. For there is no bread, neither is there any water. And our soul loathes like bread. Now, look at this verse 5. It says that, that there was no bread. But it says that they loathed the bread. Now, it tells me that what happened here with the Israelites is that they weren't content. Bread was present, but a type of bread that was present, they did not want it. They weren't satisfied with this type of bread. Now, when you are in a wilderness, my God, when you are in a wilderness, listen, what you want is not set at your table. What is presented to you is what you take. What is presented to you it is what you will have to take. Yeah. The Bible says that the Lord, it is that the Lord prepared a table. They threw me in the presence of my enemies. Oh God, what you are going through now. Oh God, I'm, as I'm about to close this very message. What you are going through now, what is presented on the table. Can I help somebody? Come on, that just be content with what you have. Oh, that Israel was in famine. 
your life. There may be famine in your life. There may be famine in your life. But God is making provision. Send here. Send home. Here you are ready. Some of you are hungry. You are thirsty. Yeah, I know the feeling to be hungry and thirsty. And you don't know where it is coming from. But let your faith. I will look for the hills from Lake Scott. My head. God is a God of peace. Even when you are in your wilderness. Even when you are in your lives. Even when you are in your time where you are facing financial famine. Where there is no food in the house. God is a God of peace. He make a way for the widow lady, the one child. To the hands of Elijah, even though she at that time you were going through a period of famine. Listen, there is nothing too hard for my God to do. Where is your faith? Lift your faith to me. Look up on it. Set yourself in a pastor. In a, in a pastor. I will pray for you. Father, we thank you today. We thank you for your work. We thank you, Lord, even though there are some of us who are discouraged, dismayed in the journey. Some of us, God, we are very weary, we are broken, we are shattered. We feel lost. We don't know God. We don't know if we will make it. Because there are dead bodies, Lord, and we are people are dying. We want everyone is in the same condition, same situation, Lord. And we are wondering, we are going to make it. We are wondering, we are going to come. Hallelujah. Your word today is that we must look up on you. There is nothing too hard for you to do. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, it was you, O oh God, who used two loaves and five fishes to feed multitudes, 5,000 men, women, and children. That type of miracle still works today. That type of miracle, that type of grace, God, is still available for us. God, help us, Father, as we go through this time, as we go through this process, knowing that, God, that you are just increasing our faith, God. You are working on our hearts. You want us to become better people. And that for those, God, who have the little, help them, God, to be content. Help them, Jesus, to be content with what they have. Knowing God that you are Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider. And God we pull every limit that the people place on you right now. We remove every limit God. We remove every barrier. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ God. Open the floodgates of heaven. I speak to your people heavens right now. I speak to your people heavens. Those who are joining in a mighty God on social media. And God, those who are in this house at this time. God, I speak to their heavens right now. Jacob, when he had received an open heaven, understand the God of his fathers. He said, Lord, that I will even I will follow you if you feed me. If you will not allow me to be hungry. This is my covenant. That was Job, that was Jacob covenant with you, God then. That from long as you feed him, that he will forever follow you. And God, you're declaring your word that your children shall not hunger, neither beg for bread. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And because this is not just a national crisis, but an international one, it tells me, God, that all of us, God, are in this wilderness season, this wilderness period, God. And you are dealing with us individually. You are dealing with us collectively, God. And I pray, Spirit of the living God, that even now, God, that every hand and every influence that is on your people right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, I want them to have doubt and unbelief. I break it from their mind. I break it from their spirit, God. 
and I release them right now into contentment in the name of Jesus Christ, God. Even those that were ungrateful, even those that were ungrateful, those who have a heart of ungrateful, my God, those who cannot be satisfied, even now, God, I speak the spirit of satisfaction over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I take this privilege and honor God to release grace, grace, grace over the lives of your people that will prosper and be good out, even as their soul prospered. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Thank you all for joining us on social media. God bless you all. We'll come back in about 15 minutes. We ask that you join us for the second service. It promises to be a blessing. God bless you.